Three people who have never met are about to discover how they're linked through their ancestors to one of the most dramatic political protests in British history. On the 4th of June 1913, on Derby Day at Epsom Racecourse, 40-year-old suffragette Emily Davison made history with one of Britain's most shocking political protests. As the horses thundered around Tatton Corner, Emily Davison ducked under the railings and stood right in the path of the King's horse. She was knocked unconscious and four days later died of her injuries. And here we have Herbert, aged 20. Right. He's down as a racehorse jockey, living in a place called Egerton House. So from quite early on, they start to have demonstrations and there would be skirmishes and lots and lots of arrests. The headline is Policy of Guerrilla Warfare announced at the conference. So they actually use the word guerrilla warfare. I mean, that's quite... That's quite strong. Emily Davison was planning a spectacular new protest. What she would do on that unforgettable afternoon would spark a century of debate. Was it a calculated act of martyrdom or was it a protest gone tragically wrong? She completely misjudged the speed at which those horses were travelling. Half a tonne of Anma hit her at about 30 miles an hour, sending her cartwheeling across the course. In suffragette history, this is the most famous point that there is. I'm overwhelmed at how much I take for granted now. You know, this is... This is social history, but it's actually not just social history, it's about my family now, which I feel quite proud of that, actually. 